Today we'll look at color grading in Capture One. This is, um, how do I put it? This is a much requested um, topic I've come across. Like every you know photographer who gets in touch is like, teach me how to color grade. Either teach me how to retouch or teach me how to color grade. So today I'll take you through how I do that in Capture One. You can do this in Photoshop, but for now I'm focusing on Capture One. Now, this image has already been retouched in Photoshop and we brought it back to Capture One. So let's go straight into what you are going to do. We we'll use the color tab and the color balance under that to do what we want. Now, color grading starts from your raw processing and color play and all that. But then today we'll focus on only the color balance too, which is this one. We can bring it out here so we get to see everything that we are doing focused on that now we have the master three-way and then we have the single ones also if you want to see everything as you work on and you want to adjust all of them at the, around the same time then you can have the three-way but if you want to focus on each area then you can have each other and then the master one affects everything in one then we have shadows mid-tones and highlights. I believe you already know what uh, each of these stand for. So with the master, if you want an overall something, that's what happens over there. So let's say if you want the you know overall image to be to have this um, orange tint, this is what you do. If you want it to have the teal tint this is what you do this affects the whole image and each time you double click on the circle it resets it for you so we want to start from the shadows now let's just make a, a rough move and then see what happens so you see whatever you do with this affects only the shadows see and with color grading everything is subjective it depends on what you want to see the ideas you have for the image so someone's best color grade would not be someone another person's best what i like won't be what somebody else likes that's how come it's subjective so you decide what you think is okay for the look you're going for so that's it you don't just come here and then start sliding stuff no you should already have um, an end game in mind like how you want the end result to be before you even get there so somebody will say okay i want um, there's this popular one orange and teal that's the kind of thing i want so with that we have um, two complementary colors orange and then teal so you will decide okay do i want orange in the shadows or teal rather in the shadows see so they are opposites one is on the other side and then the other one is also on one other side so let's say okay we want to go for the orange and teal but we want the teal in the shadows and then we want orange in the highlights see how it is or if you bring teal in the highlights this is what happens so let's say we keep um, orange in the highlights now if you look at this this has to do with the concentration how deep or light it is see and then this guy has to do with the, the lightness bright or dark see if you double click it resets it for you double click it resets for you so you can go somewhere like this now let's um, temporarily disable it and see press on option and then click on this reset it to temporarily reset it and then here so this is before this is now we haven't made that much of a change so let's go back here and one thing also you should know is with color grading it's all about you know the little things that you do you don't have to make you know too huge a change if people can really notice your grade then that should tell you that you've even overdone it because it's supposed to be very light so people just get to see you know what you're trying to do but not like it should overtake the image so let's try before and after again this is before and this is now i'm do, i'm going overboard so you guys can get to see the difference see 
so we've just worked on the shadow and highlight now with the mid tones that has to do more with the skin tone so you will decide whether you want it to follow the highlights or the shadow if you want your image to be warmer or you want it to be a bit cold I'm biased towards um, colder colors like blue and all that so I would see depending on the situation also the skin tone and all that you would might want to go either cold or warm so let's say I keep this here like this let's do a quick before and after this is before and this is now before and this is now see we haven't really done that much of a change but the little we've done has see changed the perspective of the image it was warm now we've toned it down a bit so somebody will say okay um i like this but the blues here are a bit too bright or something they are coming in the way then we can put this back here and then go to our color editor use this picker to pick blue and then over there we just change the hue a bit to something like this so see it's all part of color grading you use different tools bring them all together to get the kind of grade that you want so let's do a global reset alt and then press on this this is before and this is now this is before and this is now once you're okay with um, what you have here you can decide to click on this and then save it as a preset so that next time you want to use it you don't have to come here and then redo everything all over again you can just save it as a preset now i'll have another video on how to create presets and styles in capture one so just watch out for that video if you haven't subscribed yet you should subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified when that video comes up so this is what we've been able to achieve in this lesson we moved let me create uh, an instance of this um, let's clone it and then reset it okay so this is what we have let's create uh, before and after so this is what we did today and this is where the image came from see very interesting huh so let me know in the comment section if this is helpful to you if you've used this before or let me know how else do you color grade in capture one i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching